Hi everyone, I'm here with my favourite book, The Lost Words by Robert McFarlane and Jackie Morris. Let's see if you can figure out what word we're going to magic back into our language today. Yes, it's this little beauty, the dandelion, that's growing everywhere at the moment. And in that picture, Jackie Morris drew the dandelion plant like a clock. And she also drew the jagged edges of the leaves like a lion's teeth. I wonder why she did that. The dandelion is one of my favourite plants. It's pretty. It's actually quite nice to eat. It's a really important food source for bees and for caterpillars, lots of other insects. It's important food for animals like rabbits and hares. And it's also important food for birds like the house sparrow and the goldfinches that flit through this book like charms. And here in this painting, Jackie Morris has a beautiful hare sitting in a field of dandelions because the hare loves to chomp on the dandelion leaves and the stems and the goldfinches are flying around with the dandelion seeds scattered on the wind around them because there's no nicer snack for a goldfinch than a dandelion seed. In this poem Robert McFarlane talks about some of the different names that the dandelion has. But first, let's read it. Dandelion by Robert McFarlane Dazzle me, little son of the grass, and spin me, tiny time machine, tick-tock, sun clock, thistle and duck. Now, no longer known as Don de Leon, lion's tooth or wind blow, Tick-tock, sun clock, nettle and duck. Evening glow, milk witch or parachute. So, let new names take and root, thrive and grow. Tick-tock, sun clock, rattle and duck. I would make you some, such as bane of lawn perfectionists. Or fallen star of the football pitch or scatter seed, but never would I call you only, merely, simply weed. Tick tock, sun clock, clover and duck. So, what names does he call it? Son of the grass, tiny time machine. Ah, we had a clock on the previous page. Don de Leon, which means lion's tooth in French. Remember, we had lion's teeth too. Wind blow, evening glow, milk witch, or parachute. He also suggests making up our own names, and he makes up some like Bane of Lawn Perfectionists, because people who like a perfectly grassy lawn don't like dandelions. Though personally, I love a lawn covered in dandelions. He also calls it fallen star of the football pitch because it's like a star that has fallen from the sky. And it's also a play on words because the star of the football pitch is normally the best player in the game. And scatter seed because the wind scatters the seed all over the place. But he would never call it just a weed. <laughs> now, let's read the poem again. Dandelion. Dazzle me, little son of the grass, and spin me, tiny time machine. Tick tock, sun clock, thistle and duck. Now, no longer known as Don de Leon, lion's tooth or wind blow, tick tock, sun clock, nettle and duck, evening glow, milk witch or parachute. So, let new names take and root, 
thrive and grow. Tick tock, sun clock, rattle and duck. I would make you some, such as bane of lawn perfectionists, or fallen star of the football pitch, or scatter seed. But never would I call you only, merely, simply weed. Tick tock, sun clock, clover and duck. Are you wondering why he keeps on saying tick tock with the names of other wildflowers in the middle of it? Well, that's because some people use the dandelion, the seed head, as a clock. And Avine is going to show us how. What time is it, Avin? It's one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Thanks, Avin. It's such fun blowing the dandelion clock and watching the seeds dispersing on the wind. You can also make a wish when you blow a dandelion clock. Maybe you could try that at home. In the poem, Robert MacFarlane invites us to make up new names for the dandelion. I think I'll call it Fluffy Sun, because it's like a little sun. And when you look at the flower quite closely, you can see that it's actually quite fluffy. What would you call yours? Let me know in the comments below. Now that we've discovered the lost word dandelion, maybe you'd like to draw or paint one like Jackie Morris did. Or maybe you'd like to write a poem like Robert MacFarlane. You could write one about the dandelion, or maybe one of the other wildflowers like thistle or dock, clover or nettles. If you do, please share them with me on Twitter and Instagram. I'd love to see them. Now, go find out what time it is. One o'clock, oh, two o'clock, three o'clock.